This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Welcome to Fight Night as we are live for the undercard of Berlanga vs. Rolls tonight at Madison Square Garden. Next up, or starting up first, is a four-round welterweight belt between 3-0 former U.S. amateur star Kelvin Davis and his opponent, the 2-2 fresh Philip Carmouche. Davis lost in the United States Olympic Trials to eventual 2021 Tokyo representative Delante Tiger Johnson. Carmouche is coming off two straight losses heading into this fight at Madison Square Garden, whereas, you know, Davis has won three straight fights to start his career. Will Carmouche hand Davis his first loss, or will Davis improve the 4-0? Let's find out. Davis against the Department. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hulu Theater here inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank. Presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Executive Director Kim Sumlin. Our ringside physicians this, this evening, Dr. Nick Beattie, Dr. Avery Brown, Dr. Ellen Goldwasser, Dr. Mike Lenahan, and Dr. Gerald Barlotta. Our timekeepers this evening, Lisa Mendez and Cassie Rodriguez. This bout is scheduled for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Our judges at ringside, Bernard Bruni, Ken Ezzo, and Steve Weisfeld. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Eric Dolly. Introducing first out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 144.8 pounds. Wearing black drums. This is the Hulu Theater inside MSG. He brings a record of two victories and two defeats into the ring. Playing out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Feeling fresh. Carmouche. Introducing out of the red corner. He weighed in at 143.6 pounds. Oh, it's Keyshawn Davis's brother. He brings a perfect record into the ring. Three victories, no defeats. Two of those victories coming by way of knockout. From Norfolk, Virginia, Kelvin Davis! Okay, gentlemen, you already know the rules. Let me remind you to keep it clean, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. That's one. Good luck to both of you. All right, so Keyshawn Davis was supposed to fight in this card, but he had to bow out due to a virus. They never said if it was COVID or not. So we got his brother Kelvin ready to go. At the Hulu Theater at MSG. Ding, ding, round one. Here we go. of boxing do their thing. And tonight, Kelvin Davis, they call him Night Night. He's one of the three brothers, the eldest of the Davis brothers. Oh, he's the oldest brother. He's supposed to share the stage tonight with his brother. Keyshawn, who caught a non-COVID virus, he's off the card, and he Work says, hand, it's my time to shine then. Watch that backhand. Stop, 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 stop. You know, it's unfortunate Keyshawn didn't get a chance to perform tonight. I was looking forward to seeing him, but, you know, you never want to take a fight when, you, when you're when not feeling great. You know, you get a little down and out. You're sick. Oh, oh what a shot. That's technically a knockdown. His glove touched the canvas. He says he's good, so let's go. Let's work. Now, Kelvin Davis is fighting lefty, but so is the other guy. Oh! So, Kelvin is the eldest brother. I forgot who the youngest brother is. He likes to get in range and flick that right jab. Just to kind of blind oh, another big shot, another big shot. Left, left, left. Oh, no, he, oh the referee shoved him down. All right, all right. So the referee shoved Kelvin Davis to signal the fight's over, and Davis did a backflip. <laughs> all right, first round knockout for Kelvin Davis. Carmouche like, oh, man, I can still go. He let that hand go. And you see the work that Kelvin Davis is now been doing with 
Brian Komek, McIntyre, Red Spikes, Esau Diegas, the entire Terrence Crawford b, &B crew out in Omaha, Nebraska. There's a difference in how he's approaching the game now. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt. The fundamentals are there. You know, everything was set up off the jab. He landed a straight left hand right down the middle. And well, show the replay. Punch. He had to be patient. He saw it. Bow. It was over. I apologize, he's the eldest of three brothers. And Dre, let's take a look at how this fight ended with that triple left hand that Kelvin Davis was just couldn't miss with. Yeah, a night night punch. Which is the left hand, sometimes straight. Like this. There it is. Bang. All right, so yeah, so. But he's very accurate and on the money. Doesn't have to be hard. Then we see right there the reaction. Yeah, so he was, he was, yeah, his glove touched the canvas. And you see, this is all about position. And there's that big left hand that was driving him on the ropes. Here's another left hand that knocked him down. And then so the referee shoved him. And so he does a fucking somersault backwards. But you know what? You were in the midst of the action. And he wasn't down yet. No, he wasn't down technically. And the referee he somersaulted backwards. He was actually down because the ropes did. I understand that. But, you know, hey, we can come up with the punch. Yeah, no harm, no foul. He's all right. All right, so we don't have to wait around for the decision. All right, we don't have to wait around for the decision, so I'll just mute this. All right, so that was it. 70 sec 77 seconds is all it took for Kelvin Davis to knock out Carmouche. Well, Deshaun Davis is basically the star of the family because he was the one who took silver in Tokyo, but Kelvin just said, ha, ha, I'm here. So that was a good, uh, good showing by Kelvin Davis. Look for him down the road. So that was the first fight in this card, and that was pretty good. All right, hopefully, hopefully the rest of the card's like that. Uh, I'll see you next time.